love you, baby. <laughs> So we still don't know why he was arrested, but the, the cop was asking right. about his yeah. wife at one point, remember? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of the fence. <laughs> There's a tractor and everything. We better get going or we won't hear the end of it. Kind of looks like you a bit. <laughs> That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. <laughs> Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. What do you want to do? Sure, we'll tag along. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. A fence. Yeah, well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. <laughs> I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. It's cool how everybody's subtitles have different colors. Hmm. You right. notice that? Yeah. Makes it a bit easier to follow. You want to talk to her quick? Who, me? Well, I mean, like... <laughs> yeah, he should. Hey there, girls. What, what do you want to ask her? What do you do? Yeah. So it says, be sure to check in with everyone you've met so, so far. Uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. <coughs> my mistake. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Exit. You don't want to talk to her anymore? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lee. Now we'll talk to Clem. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. All right, let's go talk to Kenny over here. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. What's your plan? So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. That would probably be like the safest place to yeah. be, actually. How's your son doing? How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. Uh, we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Need any help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. See you. Alright, well let's go see if... It's actually a piece of shit, but Hall's alright. 
I guess we'll go to the back and see if we can uh, help these guys with the fence, maybe. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> you want to talk to Sean or Duck? Talk to Duck for a second. Not long. <laughs> how you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> yeah, okay, you're right. Let's move on. Hey, Lee. Exit. <laughs> yeah. That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that sure speed things up. Not the talkative type, hey, that. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you can to survive. Like put a gun to that kid's head and pulled the trigger? Fuck that, man. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... What do you think? Sometimes I shoot one. it's all right. <laughs> I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe, and I don't think that fence gonna help. In is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I'm not too close with my family. Um, not too close with my family. Oh. Well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. All right, we'll go talk to Herschel and... Yeah, it's enough talking to these guys. Got to get in some action here. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just... He's asking a lot of right. questions. I think he's... Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse... Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No wife anymore. No wife. Uh, not anymore. I uh, think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yes, I was looking for help in her house. Yeah, I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? What is it? What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Uh-oh. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. Oh, and I'd start checking the attitude, friend. <laughs> Go! I'll get my gun! Oh, we got action here. You asked for it. Whoa! Oh, way to go, Kenny. 
No, it's Duck. It's his fault. Uh-oh. Who do you want to save here? Help Sean or the kid? Quick. I, 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 what? Help Sean or the kid? Kid. Get one of those two by fours. I got you. Get this tractor off of me. Oh, he just Help failed. Me, please. Woo. Uh, oh, that's it for him. See, like, we had a choice there, though. We helped the kid, so he's gonna die. That's our fault. Jeez, he's gonna be pissed. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you! You didn't even try to help. I panicked. I panicked. Look at him. Remember that next time you panic. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. See now the thing is, is if we would have saved the guy, like the you kid would be dead. To make or I'm wanted. guessing. Can you shut that tractor off? I don't know. We're probably just gonna be leaving here. Won't that guy turn into a zombie? Well, I think he'll just kill him. This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Look! Uh oh. Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> We're trapped! <laughs> oh, I was just gonna say, I don't think we have any weapons, though. Look who's this? Oh, look it! Alright, so there are friendly people here. Take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. What do you want to say? We, we have kids. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I. I'd go out there again in a second. Just go. Bet you <laughs> then just go. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a fuck. What do you want to say? Fuck. She's an asshole. So. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? 
We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! We, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's Lily, what do you want to do? Your heart, Dad. Tim or Doc, kick his ass or reason with him. Kick his ass. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad. Sit down it. or else. It's a big deal. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? <laughs> this one. Jeez. Oh, that's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Lee. Yeah? <laughs> There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then... When she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. What do you... She'll turn fast. We do what and you say? He's yeah. just a boy or deal yeah, with yeah, it? Yeah, we do what you say. And that boy is the ball game. Then we do what you say. We toss him out and save the group. Lee? What the fuck, man? What other choice is there? Finally, someone gets some sense. But we can't wait. We are tossing him out now. What do you want You're to right. Do? Let him. Let him toss out the kid? Yeah. You're right, man. That boy's a time bomb. Then it's settled. Lee? This is my boy, Lee. My boy! We can't! I'm sorry, Kenny. He's right. This is about survival. No, he's not bitten. Look! Look, he's clean. Not a scratch. Not a goddamn scratch. What do you think about that? It's Larry. And I'm fucking sorry. Good. Look, we're fish in a barrel here. With all the commotion, we could be under siege any minute. We better start fortifying this place. I'll work on getting that window barricaded. Good. Dad, sit down. I'm fine, Lily. <laughs> Dad, please. All right. <coughs> Hurt when she peed? <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, down again. Jeez. Man. So like in a way it was good that we were kind of like yeah yeah just get rid okay. of her or whatever. But now Kenny's kind of pissed this at us, right? Thanks. So much for that. Told him to calm down. I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll do it somehow. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. <laughs> we need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. 
You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. That'd be great. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. <laughs> okay, so now, um... We're in Macon, hey? Do you remember? Right. We're from Macon. So that's why he was asking, like, are you a local or whatever? Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. So now there's all these different things that we could check out. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. We should probably talk to her. She's a little freaked out, I imagine. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Back I, uh, <laughs> get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. We'll sit tight. Yeah, okay. they, need, they need to have a meal. Well, I don't know if we're gonna get a meal. You wanna check the ATM? Yeah. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. I imagine there's gotta be some food in here. Maybe like... There's, there's, we're not gonna be making a meal, that's for sure. Hamburger patties. <laughs> You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. That's how you feel. What are you working on? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. I'm guessing we're gonna have to try and fix this thing for her. Oh, well, that'll do it. There are no batteries in this thing. <laughs> what now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. <laughs> wow. Maybe not the brightest reporter in the box. Yeah. The IT guy. Is that what that said? Hold on. Huh. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. What do you want to do? You want to look out there or Let's not? Let's have now? a look around. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. So we need to find some, uh, those glycerin pills for that guy who's having a heart attack or whatever. And, uh, we need to find batteries for that radio. Like, we, there's no way we can get through here. He just... Eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you... They eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. Oh. How the fuck? Gross. I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah. I think so, too. We better keep it down out of here. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. It would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, that's all I know. 
So well, I'm just checking out all these different stores here. Can't find some sports stores or something and get a gun? <laughs> did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. There's a tool place. That would probably be good. And this is a electronics store across the way there. There's the lock. combination lock. Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Oh, there's a trapped walker under there. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hammer oh. this, huh? B. Everett. Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? No, it's just sad. Well, and he could be a drugstore yeah, employee, though. It's just sad. Yeah, that's what we should have done, because then that would make yeah, him do that. It is. Probably. I think you got to answer the right way. Look at the way. uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore. Yeah, here we go, anyway. died with keys in his pocket. Okay, he came there anyways. Yeah. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. Not if they burn him. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Okay, well, there's not really much else happening out Let's here right now. back inside. Okay. <laughs> Well, because we wouldn't go out there unless we knew for sure that he would have keys or that he even worked here, right? So now we kind of have to prove that. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. <laughs> oh, here's a battery over here. We can't let anything <clears throat> happen to Ducky. I know, hon. We need two batteries, all right? Yeah. Don't even come over here. He's Danny? pissed at us. No catch. This son of a bitch would have let that man feed our son to the wolves. Stop that, Kenny. We were all frightened. Even I thought that maybe... Maybe we were going to lose our boy. I'm sorry, Katja. What if he... It's okay, Lee. From here on out, Lee, I need to know that you're on my side. I am. Yeah, I am, of course. Good. Thank you. So then we kind of got to, like, stick to that. You know what I mean? You want to ask the him? plan? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They're oh. gone. They own this place, he's saying. You want to say they're gone? Sure. They're uh, gone. Oh my goodness. Do you think? How? I just know, right? Cat, it's not our business. Exit. Lee, you got a second? Sure. <laughs> so I Back bet. on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? Happened pretty fast. It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Trying to let it go. Oh, look at energy bar. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do you know who we can give that to? Yeah. Who? Give it to her, right? Yeah. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. 
The pills are in there. Okay, so the pills are back there. Here's another energy bar. We can go back into the office, talk to these guys real quick. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, alright? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And you should know, I didn't think he was in the right. You didn't say anything, and Duck could have been bitten. Sure, I guess. You're from here? You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. So he was a teacher, right? What's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. We already knew I've that. I've seen yeah. a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah. We've got kids here. We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Me. I'm gonna get back to him now. Okay, well, here, what we'll do is we'll take a break, and uh, I just want to say thanks, Dad, for playing. That was fun. Did you have fun? Yes, I liked it. Well, I want to go to the end, though. Well, the end is going to be like eight hours. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, goodbye, everybody. <laughs> okay, thanks, everybody. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.